Hey YouTube, we're back. Let's get YouTube. Right guy over here. Nino over there. No, we just finished like commenting and subscribing over here. Whichever one it is. But today we have a blind react. Uh, most of the stuff we do is blind react anyways. Uh, you know, sometimes we vet some stuff ahead of time. Sometimes it's from stuff we've already seen on our socials. But our elegant reader, Mr. Rowe, has sent us a video stated simply that the title is simply saying Japan is being forced to censor anime and manga. I'm a big anime fan. A huge anime fan. Big anime fan. I, I ventured love, into the manga. I love the Naruto in the bleaches. In the bleaches? <laughs> One Piece. I'm a bigger fan. Now, I got two I th pieces. I, th I think One Piece has potential. I think One Piece has potential. You know, but you don't know about the, the follow-up. The two-piece, the three-piece, and the whole pie. The, the chicken bucket. Yeah. You know, it's on sale on Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesdays. Anyways, guys. Uh, we're going to jump right in. Uh, see why or what Japan is censoring. I'm guessing it's tentacle stuff. Well, that's the reason why they have tentacle stuff is because you can't see the flowers. Yeah. You can't draw that. You can't do that because of the censorship. And that was the creative way to get around it. Exactly. So let's jump in, shall we? Why? What is a word worse than death? They give you a quick and simple answer. Carol. Censorship. <laughs> Adult content is a huge part of Japanese entertainment culture, especially when it comes down to drawn or animated media like anime and manga. Whether it comes in the form of extreme violence, mild and comedic displays of nudity, or full-blown R-rated scenery, adult content is something that's naturally ingrained into Japanese media. But unfortunately, not every country which anime and manga are distributed to supports these spicy editions. And as such, there have been several cases where anime and manga have been censored to suit the ideologies of several countries. For example, okay. the Mitsuri bat scene in Demon Slayer where no. her bare back and chest were shown was censored in the Chinese version, as she was seen wearing a towel in that scene. Fans didn't pay much mind to it and instead found some of these cases funny, such as when the Malaysian version of Attack on Titan had the Titans, which were normally fair skinned, wearing tight pants. That's funny. Little <laughs> they know ass. that things would eventually blow up in an aggravating way. During the final days of October, the United Nations pitched the idea of censoring or even banning anime and manga based on the idea that these forms of media were promoting gender stereotypes and violence towards women and children. Many fans voiced their discomfort with that development, claiming it was wrong on so many different levels. But things still took a turn for the worse, because recently it was discovered that Western credit card companies such as Visa and MasterCard are now dissociating themselves from anime and manga sites in an attempt to force them to censor their content. Ken Akamatsu, the creator of Love Hina, was unfortunately a victim of this, as his manga site Manga Z was forced to shut down due to these credit card companies pulling away. It is wow. a visual state. An entire, an entire online manga library gone. And that's astounding. Mm -hmm. That's a dangerous slope. Yeah. Yes. Because these these credit card companies are not based in Japan. They don't understand the culture. Of exactly. It. And to force one culture onto another is there's a word for it with states. Yeah. You know, um. Usually we'll like put in big gold ring. Hell yeah. But yeah. But there's a word for that, and yeah, I'm not a big fan. Even on Twitter, he said, The website Manga Library Z, formerly known as J. Comey, which I founded 14 years ago, had decided to cease operations on November 26th. Although I have already stepped down from management, I'm writing this announcement on behalf of the team about Manga Library Z. Manga Library Z is an ad-supported platform that provides out-of-print manga as free digital content, generating ad revenue to compensate creators. Server and operational costs were mainly covered by fees from premium members. Reasons for the shutdown. The immediate cause of the suspension is that our payment processor has notified us that they are terminating all payment services beyond credit card payments, which includes other methods. Suddenly, all credit card providers, including JCB, became unusable, and other payment options, except for bid cash, were also rendered non-functional. On top of that, even payments for past months were withheld, so we were unable to cover server costs due to the lack of incoming premium member fees. After 
With careful consideration, the Manga Library Z team determined that running the site solely on bit cash revenue was unsustainable. Even if a new payment processor was found, similar issues could arise again, and selectively removing content to stay operational was undesirable. Thus, we reached the decision to suspend the site. We apologize for the suddenness of the situation and for yielding to the control of the payment provider, which left us with little time to respond. However, through this experience, we have gained insights on the grounds for declaring payment service suspensions, the severity and duration of associated penalties, and potential countermeasures. In the past, for example, Love Hina was banned and later reinstated in Apple's eBook app, a situation that became a valuable case in protecting freedom of expression. We continue to refer to these kinds of special cases in discussions about protecting free expression. Recently, stricter conditions and penalties have emerged from payment service providers, posing a growing threat to not only ebooks but to the Japanese content industry as a whole. We intend to develop more accurate countermeasures as a platform that has been directly affected. We appreciate your support in this endeavor. So, there's a lot to unpack in this message, but the main point is that his manga site is being forced to shut down based on their inability to make money. And the cause of that is, of course, the fact that the Western credit card companies they were aligned with chose to step away from them. <laughs> this is a very terrible situation, and anime fans are absolutely furious about this incident. A fan said, bad take from US-based card companies. Trying to force an entire country to censor a major part of their cultural identity will just force Japan to seek a possible home-sourced card company, which will lead to other non-Japanese sites to utilize them as well to avoid censorship. What's worse is that the censorship they're trying to influence into effect isn't the normal one we're familiar with, where only the versions of anime and manga for specific countries are altered. What these people want is for these products to be censored right at the source, meaning even the original versions of anime and manga being distributed in Japan would be heavily censored. This is a huge slap in the face, not only to the whole freedom of expression privilege for creators, but also Japanese culture in general. These card companies have done this before, with platforms like Pixiv and DL sites, removing themselves from those sites until certain content which they deem is inappropriate is removed. Some fans are even trying to make light of the situation by claiming that the world is now similar to Shimoneta, an anime world where all forms of adult things were banned. Credit card companies actually hold a lot of power because they monopolize the use of online and card-based transactions. True. So basically, if you wish to make a payment to any sites, including anime and manga sites, it most often has to go through them. Which is why a situation like this, where they pull away from a company, would mean that the company has no way of making any money, and thus the company is forced to shut down, all based on an unfair imposition of Western ideologies on Japanese media. Some fans are going as far as saying that Japan should stop distributing anime and manga to the West entirely, since they're the ones always pushing for censorship. Japan needs to give a big middle finger to the West and completely disconnect from it. These were the words of a fan who was rightfully annoyed by the situation. Some are calling out influential figures like Elon Musk to do something about the situation, given the fact that he openly admitted to being a huge fan of anime and gaming. Fans think that Musk will eventually start his own card companies and pay platforms something. that would eventually crush the ones currently monopolizing the business. Some others feel that crypto should become the premier means of payments, putting the current card companies... Crypto could... I think crypto could be good, but it could also be dangerous. Well, yeah, there's a whole thing where uh, there's a movement within certain bigger countries to accept crypto as actual payment. Add actual payment. Well, some people were actually. I think I remember, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure somewhere they were, like, well, selling cars for crypto or something. Well, Elon Musk, the Tesla company, could, could use crypto. Or Ethereum, yeah. That's where it is. Oh, well, I think El Salvador has. The one who were the big on Bitcoin? Maybe. The El Salvador, yeah, I think it's El Salvador or Argentina, one of them. It has a South American country. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a wild spring because you have no control over that. That's, that's, that's what thing. makes it dangerous. Because, like, with the central bank, you can control the interest rates, control inflation in theory. But where it's just deregulated like that, then. You have no state. 100%. Like uh, Rick and Morty. 
Watch me topple the entire friggin' civilization by changing the money. Out of business, and they believe the outcome of the recently concluded U.S. elections could make that dream a reality. Interestingly, apparently, Brazil used a system called PIX that bypasses cards and bank limitations. If more countries copied this method, those payment processing holders would have zero power across the globe and will be forced to compete with quality of service instead. Well, these proposed solutions do seem appealing, but it would take a lot of different things to come into place for them to actually work out. Taking notice of this, fans have decided to focus on looking for ways to fight back and punish the card companies directly. Many have suggested starting a war with America or even orchestrating a cyber attack against these card companies. This is why I want the entire Western entertainment industry gone, wiped clean from the world. Yes. Or in the words of a fan who needs to be convinced that the Western entertainment industry is no sandcastle that could easily be kicked down. This is maybe a little extreme. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That the best course of action would be to avoid buying from them entirely. And so many fans have resolved to only using pirate sites yeah, for consuming oh, oh. anime and manga instead of paying through these companies. Depending on how things Things play out, this incident could cause a ripple that would affect Japanese culture and how anime is created. For now, we can only hope things go in favor of Japan and the rest of the Animanga fandom. So yeah, other. okay, all right, interesting. Yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I thought it was funny at first with the whole pants on the Titans thing. Yeah, but which I come to accept. Uh, Acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Japan, I think manga and anime is such a part of Japan's culture that it's like asking, it's almost like asking the USA to give up its gun culture. Yeah, we don't like it. <coughs> so imagine not being able to use a credit card to buy a gun. Exactly. The, the, the credit card companies don't like the opera. Yeah. What a great analogy. Well done. Um, I think... Or Canadians with poutine. Or Canadians with their Toronto Maple Leafs jerseys. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, with this, I think the credit card companies are in the wrong. But that's the problem when you have a monopoly over something. Yeah, duopoly. Yeah, monopoly, duopoly, duolipa, you know. Whatever Duolingo. Duolingo. Keep those streaks alive, kids. I'm at 256, by the way. On what? But uh, yeah, when you have a monopoly duopoly, you whatever you say you can do. So it's going to be hard to change this. Yeah, we have a duopoly of triopoly in Cat of Bell, Rogers, and Tellers. Mm -hmm. And that's why our cell phone service is a joke of the world. That's a great analogy. You know, so like well, us as consumers, we try to do something with our money to make it speak back, but we had another company called Freedom who undercut everybody who got bought out by Rogers. Yeah. So it's like, what can you do? You know, what can you do? Not have a cell phone? In today's, in today's age? No. Yeah. Um, what do you think about it? I I didn't mind the, the slight changes for the different cultures. People don't understand what a rice ball is, so they'll put it in a sandwich. Yeah. That, I'm fine with. But saying, you know what, we don't like what you're doing, and we want you to change, is, is something else, you know? And it's like, your whole culture is weird and frightens me, so I don't like you. That, not That's just not racist. Big That's yeah, it's Yeah, so it's like, it's crazy and like and you have to re realize that this is art yeah it's how one expresses themselves how a culture expresses themselves and if you don't understand that that's fine but you have to understand that you do provide a service that is relied on throughout the world and you shouldn't be able to pick and choose that it's okay agreed but you know we hope that they see the light but and allow uh, manga online to be bought, and paid for, yeah. supported. Because as much as I 
like as much as I support people doing the pirate sites, it's still pirate sites. That's Yo ho ho. You're putting your computer at risk with those for your art and Yeah, and you're not supporting the creator. Exactly. Right? And just like if you don't support the creators, no more content will be put out there and we're all So, you know, if you want to pirate these videos for free on YouTube, yeah. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, anything else? Now I got, I just hope for a better outcome than, we, than we're probably going to get. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a wild, crazy couple of years coming up. Yep. So <laughs> take comfort in what you can. Be good to you. Be good Board to the others. manga. Board the manga. Go to your local, go to your local chapters Indigo. You know what? Go to your local library. You'd be very surprised at how much anime and manga is in a local library. It's almost like you work in. I might actually yes. Oh, but yeah. So visit your local library. Look for this guy. You'll probably find me by the prison school manga. Go ahead and look that one up. Prison school manga. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I might have just opened a can of worms. <laughs> but anyways, good to you. Be good to us. We love you very much. Like, comment, subscribe, and I love you. Have a great one, guys.